going to demonstrate how to build PoE enabled system with Ethernet and USB devices connected to Raspberry Pi Zero board. In this demo, we're going to use an adapter called NSDSP to UE that features power over Ethernet, two USB A ports for peripherals, each supporting up to half ampere, and we're going to connect this adapter to Raspberry Pi Zero board. Now, for the demo setup, we're going to use screen. To the screen I have here connected HDMI to HDMI mini cable and we're going to plug this cable to Raspberry Pi port. Now one of the things that you might notice is that I have inside already preloaded SD card with Raspbian operation system on it. Otherwise I would not be able to power up Raspberry Pi. The next step that we're going to do, we will connect micro USB to micro USB cable. Now one of the crucial things is that you are plugging actually the cable to the uh, connector labeled um, on a PCB as USB. All right. Now the other end of the cable that is also micro USB, you plug into the uh, NSTS P2UE adapter to the micro USB connector that is labeled to tablet. Now the same adapter actually is utilized for Samsung tablets that have micro USB port. So with this adapter you can provide simultaneous data and charging for Samsung micro USB tablets. And if you wanna, for example, watch your TV uh, or movies on your tablet, then you can connect your HDD external hard drive or you can actually stream your favorite movies over Ethernet cable. Alright, next part. We're gonna plug Ethernet cable on the other side of the adapter to the uh, RJ45 port. The second end in this setup actually we're gonna connect to POE injector. Now you have to plug the cable where it's labeled power plus data out. So we're going to plug it here. Now before I'm going to connect the power, I will connect actually USB A peripherals that I prepared for the video. Now it doesn't have to be a mice, it doesn't have to be a keyboard. These are low power USB peripherals. Now just because HAP provides external power to USB A ports, you're free to use any peripherals that of course follows the USB spec and it can support up to half ampere. So we have the PoE injector connected, plugged into power plus data. On the other side, I'm plugging another Ethernet cable. Now this one is connected directly to Ethernet router, the router that you probably have at home. And I have to power up. So we're going to do that. Now you don't have to use for your setup PoE injector. You can actually use PoE enabled router, which simplifies the setup. Okay. So let's see. LED on Raspberry Pi Zero board is flashing. Now. As you might notice, I have actually two boards for Raspberry Pi Zero. One is a version that is wireless. The wireless one is V11 and that's the one that is currently connected. The second one that I have is V1.3. Um, this one is a basic one. Now, it doesn't matter which one we're going to use for the setup on both of them. Actually, this configuration is going to work. Now, Raspberry Pi can be utilized for many projects, commercial projects actually as well. Uh, it can be, for example, used as a base for a home automation system, house alarm, camcorders, weather stations. So there are plenty of use cases where Raspberry Pi can find a place. Now, as you can see on the screen, we powered up the board and we just waiting for the interface that is currently loading 
and we will test one by one all the functionality that was mentioned before. So first, what we're going to test, let's see if the actual mice is functional. Alright, we can see that it's that the uh, cursor is moving. Great. Now the next thing, since we want to check if we can actually type, I'm going to launch terminal window on Raspberry Pi. So one of the th first things that I'm going to type, I'm going to switch to root access. Perfect. So the keyboard is working as well. Now we're going to list all of the connected USB devices to see if actually as a last resource Raspberry Pi sees um, on a USB stock connected peripherals. So LS, USB. Here we go. Uh, we have a plenty of devices listed here. So we definitely tested USB data. Now the next thing that we're going to test is actually pinging google.com. Now the reason why we're going to do that is just because simply we want to see that we're connected to Ethernet since we have connected Ethernet or a PoE injector and lava adapter. As you can see, it's pinging. All right. So this is definitely working. The Ethernet is present. The USB data is present. Now, what we're going to check is the actual voltage that is reported on Raspberry Pi board. And for that, we're going to type VC, GEN, CMD, measure, underscore, volts. And of course, we're going to measure at the core. All right, so what we can see here is uh, 1.2 volts. And if I would switch actually this to a um, regular charger that is up to the spec with Raspberry Pi Zero, you would notice that the reported voltage can be a little bit less, um, but it's going to be approximately the same. So here you are, your Raspberry Pi zero PoE enabled system on a tiny tiny board with a USB data access for up to two USB peripherals that can actually draw up to half ampere connected to PoE and Ethernet so you can experience simultaneous data and charging at the same time. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.